free art. Today we're going to veer away from using rubbish to make art and we're going to use natural materials um, with autumn on the way and here for a lot of us, at least in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, we have a lot of leaves on the ground and they are perfect to use as um, a canvas. So I'm going to show you how to prepare the leaves and how to um, draw on them. I used a few different um, tools to draw on them. Uh, I experimented a bit and I will tell you what worked better and what didn't. So I hope, sorry, let me just adjust you here. There you go. I hope you will enjoy. So what you're going to need is, well, leaves, obviously. Um, if you want some gesso that you can use to prime the leaves if you want. Um, this is Reeves Mediums gesso. I think I got it on Amazon. Um, but you don't need, need that if you don't have it. Um, you could just use white craft paint if you wanted to, mixed with some glue, and that will also help um, preserve the leaf. Um, I have, I used these um, paint marker pens. These ones are artist row ones. Again, this was another Amazon purchase, um, but there's tons of other ones. There's Posca, there's other brands. Um, you never know where you could, um, you can find them and what they are. Um, I also experimented with Sharpies. Um, these are permanent uh, ink and I think that the results was okay, but um, unless you get the thin ones, maybe you struggle to get a few details on it. And just for fun, Again, another gift from my kids. Um, they got metallic color pens as a birthday gift. And so I stole them and I experimented with them a little bit. And I'll show you some of those experiments now. So this one here, this one here is the metallic color pens along with a black paint pen. Um, it looks really cool, but I would probably seal this with some Mod Podge or PVA glue um, if you were wanting to because it is water-based and they do smudge and come off a little bit. So I would protect it if you were wanting to use this, um, for example, in a journal on a cover, nature journal. Um, if you were just to put it in a frame to put it on the wall, um, yeah, I wouldn't bother, but you know, if you're using it in something that people will be touching, I suggest sealing it. Um, this little sycamore leaf here, I did with the Sharpie. Um, as you can see though, it's quite thick. So, especially on a leaf this small, it didn't come out so well, I don't think. So unless you get those fine tip Sharpies, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, these three instead were done using paint pens. Um, this is a weeping willow leaf, and I just used some blue and I painted some little dots. I wanted to see the color and the pattern on the leaf with this one. Um, this is a beech. It's one of my favorite kinds of leaves. I love the natural shine on them. So I just kept it simple because I love the color naturally um, and just did a little bit following the veins on the leaf. And this one is, I believe, a linden tree. And I loved the beautiful shape on it. So I just kind of repeated a pattern to emphasize that. And I just had fun putting some lines and dots, as you do. Um, for this little oak leaf, instead, I used gesso um, just to experiment what it would be like um, to do it. It does make the leaf thicker. Um, which is good. It probably does a great job preserving the leaf as well. So I wouldn't necessarily um, have to seal it with Mod Podge or PVA or whatever. 
it does make it a little bit bumpy and it's still a little damp. It takes some time to dry. So this is a longer process, um, but I think it looks pretty cool. So getting started. My, what I do, um, I don't have a flower press, but I've seen other videos and other people who use fresh leaves for this project, but I personally believe they should be pressed and dried first because, well, if you press them, they're nice and flat, so they're easy to paint on and draw on. Um, and if they're dry and you've taken all of the dampness out of it, you don't risk um, mold. Now you don't need a flower press. I have a good heavy book and you collect them, you dry them and you shove them in between the pages and you have your leaves. So I'll just collect a couple. Okay, I'm back. All right, I have a few different leaves. This one kind of bent a bit. And I think what I'll do is I'll show you how to use the gesso um, to coat a couple of these leaves. And then um, we can just get to drawing and you can come go along with me. I think I'll do this one with some gesso. So the gesso, if you're using the gesso, it's, it's quite thick. Um, there is such a thing as transparent gesso. So if you were wanting not to have the white underneath, you can use it, but this is what I've got. And so this is what I use and it's quite easy. I just have to paint it. Um, be very gentle with it when you're painting it on the leaf because they're fragile, they're dried leaves. Um, and this goes for when you're using the marker as well. Um, you don't want to damage it or you'll have to kind of start over again. Also follow the natural grain, let's say, of the leaf. Um, kind of enhances that a little bit. Okay, and I use two coats of gesso on my leaves. Um, Side. You'll probably need another coat, but while those are drying, we can begin working on these guys. I like using simple patterns and lines um, for my leaves just because, but I do enjoy using color. And I think I'm going to go with purple for this guy because he's got lots of yellow in him. So with these paint pens, um, you'll see that they separate. Um, in the tube, so you need to give them a really good shake before using them. You hear there's a little bead inside. And then they need to be primed in order to use to be used. So in order to prime them, all you have to do is just push this down a bit and you see it's still not quite ready, so you just keep priming. It's like pumping the fluid into it. And our primes, perfect. All right, now we can actually do some drawing on it. Um, I quite like the natural shape of that. So remember to keep it very soft. You can hear the crinkling of the leaf. So you have to be very uh, careful. And then I think I want to...
And let's see, oh, the gesso isn't dry yet, so let's keep going. I love this one just the way it is with the colors. So I want to do something that's not going to take that away. And so I think I'm just gonna go with a very simple black for this one. gesso is doing here. Ah, looks like we're almost ready for the second coat of gesso. So, let your gesso back out. All right, now we have our lovely little willow, which I think I'm going to give a little bit of silver and keep it very very simple My gesso leaves have dried. Um, we can get to work on these. You don't need to keep the white of the gesso. You could paint the leaves any color you like. Um, I quite like the whole black and white vibe, so I'm going to kind of stick to that for, for these leaves, but you are free to obviously do whatever you like with that, with them. If I could even talk, that would be good. So I like how this one curves naturally. So I think I'm just gonna follow.
enjoyed this video. Um, get out there, get exploring in nature and see what beautiful things you can create. And above all, have fun. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, please just hit the subscribe button and hopefully you'll get all the updates on my latest uh, crafty endeavors. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.